The new SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital in Jefferson City is officially open for patients. But getting to this point requires more than unlocking the doors and turning on the lights. I got a behind the scenes look at the hands-on preparation leading up to the big move. Long before sunrise on October 19th, Staff at SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital in Jefferson City were preparing patients for transport. Okay, what ambulance are we getting on? We're timing ourselves, we're testing ourselves, we're recording some things, and we'll learn a lot. Walk through every single step. The patients this time are acting. Most are St. Mary's staff and family members. The great thing about that is, is they are somewhat familiar with healthcare, so they can also be a feedback loop to us to tell us what we did well and maybe what we need to improve upon. It's a lot of time built in. The dry run comes one month ahead of the new hospital's opening, when real patients had to make the journey from the old hospital to the new. So it's the final stage before we actually do this uh, in a couple of weeks. So cute. <laughs> the move required coordination among staff at the old hospital, the the ambulances and staff at the new hospital. One patient is Bill Odman, or should I say Thomas, an intensive care unit patient. Who is 89 years old and incontinent and confused. Odman gave us a first person perspective of his transport. I'm Kayla, I'll be taking care of you today. This is Hi Kayla. Hi Julie. Making sure that I understood where I was and what was going on and, and all that stuff. And it was it was very it was very clear. They answered any question that I asked. Am I going in a car? No, you'll be going in an ambulance. Uh, a lot of checks to make sure that I was the person that they thought I was, that I was Thomas and uh, what my date of birth was and all that stuff. So to, you know, just to check that I was the right patient. The mock move was of course a smaller operation than the real move. It didn't go perfectly, but they didn't expect it to. The most important thing is that they took away improvements to make the real move go more smoothly. Uh, this person's here and they're getting ready to leave. What paperwork needs to be where, who needs to be, you know, doing what, be sure that's clearly defined. And it seemed as the morning went on that that got better and better so that when it was when it was my turn, there was a lot less questioning among the team internally. And as a whole? I think we're ready to go. I think what I've experienced so far today is evidence of that. And they were able to move over 50 patients in about three hours, so I guess practice makes perfect. Uh, that's, that's the idea.